Hey guys, we are here today to guide you on how you can install the latest custom ROM firmware which is known as next gen ROM. This is basically based on a double DSJ5 firmware which is a jelly bean version. So before you proceed, head on to the link which is just mentioned just below this video for a detailed set of instructions. So assuming that you've already gone through all that, you now need to first up ensure that your device is now rooted. To check the same, you'll have to install the application called Root Checker. And then where you will be reading this message of congratulations, this device has root access, which means that this device is rooted. So now to proceed, we need to first up download the application called ROM Manager. Common is basically available in the uh, Google Play Store, which you can download it. So from here, you have to select the option of reboot into recovery mode. You should boot the device in the recovery mode. If it asks for any of your super user request, just tap on grant. Now the device will be booting up in the recovery mode. So as you can see that there's a recovery mode wherein you'll find the option called reboot system now, install the from SD card, wipe data factory reset, wipe cache partition, backup and restore, mount gen storage and also the advanced. So before you proceed, press the volume down rocker key to select the option of wipe data or factory reset and then with the help of volume rocker keys again. Select the option of yes. Now the wipe parting of the cache has been done. And now wipe cache partition option needs to be selected by selecting the volume down rock keys and the power button. So assuming that you are done with it, you now need to head over to the option of advanced. And then select the option of 5 Dalby Cache. And now just select the option of Go Back. And then just select the option of Install Zip from SD card with the help of volume drop keys and press the power button to confirm the same. And now you need to select apply choose zip from SD card option since the custom ROM firmware is placed in the zip file so now from the list of options you need to select your option of next gen ROM which you have placed it with the above volume local keys and the power button press the power button to select the same and then select the option of yes after that a series of processes will be running in your phone as you can see that finding update package installing update and now installing next gen rom version 5.1 by eric you need to wait for a bit till the custom rom firmware get installed in the, in the device you can see this progress bar which will indicate that how much percentage of the custom ROM firmware installation has completed and now as you can see the message called install from SD card complete and now you can now proceed to select the option of go back with the help of volume rover keys and the power button and then select the option of reboot system now which will then reboot the device in the normal mode the Samsung logo which are seeing it right now Android is upgrading is what the message shows and optimizing app 13 on 15 and on and on of 85 
that means there are overall 85 applications which are there in this next gen ROM which is the version 6.0 the whole lot of applications which comes pre-installed in this which are live wallpapers, google apps, play store version of 3.9.17 which is the latest one AOSP keyboard, street view application, maps etc etc so there are a bunch of applications which are there in the device so as you can see that the internet type straight away the internet icon has been changed and now there's another called solid explorer which comes by default there's just an ES extension of ES explorer kind of thing but in a much more beautified manner play store icon 2 has been changed this way instead of a letter apart from this there's a new gmail app that's a 4.21 let's check how the dialer is this is a dialer application it was same as that of the default one let's check out the firmware version by tapping on menu key and then the settings and then the power device so you can see that here next gen rom version is mentioned over there so that's it it's pretty much slick and if you ask me then this comes with pretty much decent speed enough and there's a drop down which I'm seeing it right now and a neon blue color so your application is there all the icons are pretty much square let's check out the wallpaper this comes with So as you can see that there are a bunch of new wallpapers which you can make use of and there are no post close letters as of now that means this firmware is one of the best firmwares and also this comes with many other features like semi transparent status bar and etc etc so that's it from us Stay tuned to our Devices Media YouTube channel for more updates on Android and rest of the things.